So if you look at the, you know, the, the nerve and parathyroid, scylla and charybdis of thyroid complications, let's get a little granular into some of those things. So we found for parathyroid function, uh, Rebecca found, you know, less than 10 PTH in 28% of patients. So this is, there are other references we can look at to look at, here's one recent reference looking at rates of hypopara in a Taiwan database and here also that in terms of hypopara in the first period of time, uh, you know, that, that it, within the first 12 months, we're talking about three to 5% of patients with hypopara. If you look at national databases globally, it is not uncommon to have double digit patients after total thyroidectomy with permanent hypoparathyroidism. And as Rebecca said, and, and as I also admit, well, if you talk to us, we, we never have complications, uh, but there are organizations whose membership rosters consist of patients whose surgery, our surgeries, have rendered permanently hypopara. So if we were as good as we often say we are, these organizations would not exist, and they do exist. They exist all around the world.